All right, you stupid grapevine. Did you know that plants have a mind of their own? For instance, this is my grape arbor, okay? And this here is my weather station. It, it uh, tells you how fast the wind is going and the temperature and the barometric pressure, the whole nine yards. <laughs> so I've got it on the edge of my grape, ar grape arbor and the vines are coming up. I have six grape vines. And they're just coming up and they're supposed to just go over the top of this. And I didn't prune them last year. I was just too lazy. So I'm going to prune them this year. However, the grapes, the, the, the vines came up, went over, and one of them had to come through here and then up right into and went through my weather station, went inside. <laughs> there's, there's nothing else around here. They're, all the rest of the vines are going across like they're supposed to, but one of them decided, oh look, there's something that, that I can intrude upon. And it came in, and it looked, this thing is like stuck in here, so I've got to cut it out. I cut it down here, so... Th <laughs> now, you think that this is an, an anomaly and it only happens... No, let, let me explain to you what happened in my greenhouse one year. I have a, a blackberry bush that was next to the greenhouse, and I just left it. I didn't bother digging it. It was just a wild blackberry bush, and I just kept digging around it and make sure that it didn't propagate itself and, and, and whatnot. <clears throat> but anyways, I went up to Alaska for the summer, and I came back, and that one, that one blackberry bush had sent down a runner, went underneath the greenhouse foundation, went up, and went straight for my heater in the greenhouse. And it went through the heater, wrapped itself around inside, and then went out the back of the heater and, and totally uh, broke the element inside the heater and whatnot. And I, it didn't look for anything anything else. And it, went, it had to go five feet or six feet inside the greenhouse to find that stupid, that stupid heater. And it ended up breaking my heater. And uh, so, yeah... <laughs> I know you guys are probably thinking, what a stupid story, but you know what? It, just, look at that. Look at this thing. It's, I think I got it out, but that, that, so intrusive. I mean, it, look, there's another one that's coming at it. Look at this. It's just like, oh, you stupid thing. Anyways, I thought that would, you guys would enjoy that little story.